our double jump of luck. has been stirred by your actions. Let's not keep it waiting then.
path above has been made clear. Onward and upward. And you thought this was a bad idea.
Look, up ahead. A village. All the way up here? Do you think it's that Moonblood camp Kane was talking about? No, it's something else. It's... An enough talking. Let's get up there. Really thinking about going to the blacks with an unlocking it. HALT! What? No. Impossible! Cassius! What did you call me? Who are you? What are you doing in this place? You... You were dead! No. No, this is not possible. I don't know what demon you are, but you will not step any closer! Kill this... thing! Remember it. I know it when I heard it. Maybe you don't have amnesia, but it's like the second soul is taking over. That's where we are. Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. A year, actually. Huh? How do you know that? This was Ginger's village. I was here one year ago. According to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. Oh, dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Ara, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, Dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. something dust this is impossible dust how do you see now but how Ara? I don't understand the answers lie above dust here on the night I came to say goodbye but I hesitated I didn't want to wake her didn't want her to worry about me she couldn't know what I was about to do dust what are you saying she couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents you mean you're but how what's going on here I I remember now how? How can I have helped destroy this village, but be a victim of that same act? That's impossible. Only impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin, you finally see the truth. Who are you? I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Well, what's left of them, that is. What did you mean just then, that I can finally see the truth? What do you know about me? His eyes, Elder. They're Jin's eyes. 
They do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. What? However, to suit our needs, we required two souls. A soul of innocence is a noble thing, but without skill, without power, dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. No. So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. You murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. Your parents turned against their king, an act of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village, murdered my friends and family. You will not survive this day! I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. But you have forced my hand. A grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this... this thing be my brother? Don't call me a thing. It's not the possible. Heck? I couldn't even remember you when we met. You are djinn, yes. But you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence, one of power. Together you form the one we call Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust. I never knew what happened. Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped he would turn up alive someday, that he would come back. But could you really be him? Ginger, I don't know. I... I don't know. Now, Dust, I imagine you have many questions. Please, do not hesitate to ask them. Who, or I guess, what am I? You are what my people call Sen Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust, created from the essence of the life thread itself. You see, my people have been on the verge of extinction for a great many years. General Gaius planned to eradicate us once and for all. And while our warriors are proud and strong, what chance would we have against such a powerful foe? To defeat General Gaius and save our people, we would need a warrior capable of standing against an entire army. This warrior would also need to be pure of heart, incorruptible. So that's why you picked Cassius and Jin, Just like you said, opposites. Exactly. Cassius was one of the greatest warriors this world has ever seen, and Jin's purity of heart would help guide our warrior to save our kind. From their fallen souls, you were born. Born to save us. To save this world. Why did I only remember now? I didn't even recognize Ginger when I met her. You may possess the souls of two separate beings, but your body and mind are your own. You were created to save this world, so we felt giving you memories of either soul would simply distract you from the task at hand. I had no idea who I was, what my purpose was. You say that, but in all cases you did exactly what we intended you to do. You saved complete strangers outside of Aurora Village. You stopped our wayward brother Fuse from destroying all that we sought to save. You saved Mudpot and brought the waters of life back into this land. You purged a demonic rage from this land and even helped two old souls find peace once more. You may not have known your purpose, but that did not stop you from fulfilling it. And now I'm here. Yes, now you are here and we can finish this fight once and for all. 
Who was Fuse? He said he was a Moonblood, but he looks nothing like you. Fuse. He was once a fine warrior, and a close friend of Ginger's family. He would help transport goods between this village and our camp. After the village was destroyed, I guess he lost his mind. He was horribly disfigured after the attack. The only way he could survive was in a special suit of magical armor that I helped to construct. He demanded we attack General Gaius right away, but I would not hear any of it. He would have killed us all in the name of vengeance. We would not have stood a chance. When I refused to send our warriors into battle, he called me a coward and vowed that he would destroy Gaius with or without my help. I fear the very armor we made to save his life had corrupted his mind and body beyond repair. Poor guy. If only we could have gotten through to him somehow. No, you're right to kill him. If he had remained alive, there's no telling what damage he could have done. Ginger is right. Fuse was beyond saving. For all our sakes, I hope the same is not true of the world he sought to protect. How does the Blade of Ara fit into all this? What is it, exactly? It is one of the five blades of Elysium. Ancient weapons forged when our kind were many, and the way of the flameless light was commonplace. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? A path we Moonbloods continue to follow. It is a way of living, a way of thought, that allows us to make use of a power both old and great. Magic without magic. I am so confused. Surely, as Nimbat Sword Guardian, you've studied the ancient doctrines. You must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. I may have skipped over that chapter? You haven't answered my question. The Blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword bearer's dust. I was summoned to your side to ensure a balance was maintained between the souls within you. Ah, my old friend. It is good to hear your voice once more. It has been a long time, Master. Wait just a second. How can you possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, Fidget. Longer than any of you. So you were sent to keep an eye on me? To help you reach your true potential. Nothing more. I have no more questions. What now? You must join us in the Moonblood camp to the north in the Everdawn Basin. That isn't anywhere near the Everdawn Volcanoes, is it? They are one and the same, yes. Well, that's fantastic. Volcanoes? Indeed. What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom. Oh, I know. How about a peaceful meadow? Or a quiet forest? Or some place that doesn't explode every ten minutes? Dust, your friend seems awfully tense. No, I'm fine. Come on, let's go to the Blowy Up Mountains. Really, I'm serious. Fidget, you need to have more faith in me. I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. How about it, huh? Who are you, really? I am... I... Uh... You see? You still haven't figured it out yet! Lizard guy tells you right to your face, and you still don't know! Fidget, please calm down. You mustn't test your friend like this. I just... <sighs> if I'm gonna follow you to the literal end of this world, I need to know who I'm following, and why. I understand, Fidget. You're right. I can't ask you to follow me. But I can. Fidget, you have stood by Dust's side for this entire journey. You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? I just don't get it. It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's Dust. That's who he is. That's who I know. Fidget, please. I can't do this without you. Can you, uh... Can you repeat that? I said I can't do this without you. I'm sorry, I just... Nobody's ever said that to me before. And it won't be the last time, I assure you. Are you ready, Mithrarin? 
I am. Then we will meet you in the Everdawn Basin. Goodbye, Dust. We'll see you there. Yo, what was that? The sudden distrust. General Gaius? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. What the heck? <laughs> we're still, yeah, we're still. Bro, the game just crashed on me. Oh my god, what the heck? I mean, like, I ran, like, immediately over a save point. Actually, how far are we into this? 35 yet? We still have time. <laughs> Bro, that was, that was so sudden too. General guy. What news? I did not want- that will is that our victory but why will cassius is are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um, I certainly hope you save.
ones making all that noise up there uh, not intentionally uh, by the way do you know you have bloms in the attic <laughs> oh those they don't bother us and they tend to keep the other monsters away if I knew we were having company I'd have cleared them out myself sorry about that I guess so what brings you to this far outside Aurora I'm assuming that's where you're from I'm dust and this is my companion fidget we're here to deliver these materials on Augustine's behalf. Oh, well, nice to meet ya. I'm Haley, and this is my brother, Maddie. <laughs> Don't mind him. I see you've got a blueprint there. Mind if I take a look? Well, this doesn't look... You have no idea the crafting I'm going to be doing. Uh, Too hard? Tell you what, if you can find me the materials for it, I'll craft this item for you. Thanks, Haley. And, uh, just because I like you, I'll give you a blue resonance gem. Don't know if you caught it on your way up, but there's a big blue door at the foot of Archer's Pass that this'll open. Just inside the door is a teleporter that'll take you right up here. Makes return trips a lot easier. So you can come and visit anytime you like. I'll be honest, even with a shortcut at the foot of the pass, I'm not sure I'll be able to make it up here too often. Hmm, well... My dad did have these little receiver things he'd give to his regular customers to transport goods back and forth. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them to give you. Let me think. Unfortunately, I don't if care enough to get it. I remember correctly, one of my dad's customers dropped one somewhere in Abadi's forest. If you were to find it, I could craft your items and send them to you through the receiver whenever you wanted. Dad normally gives his customers a blue resonance gem. So check for Blue Resonance Gates in Abadi's Forest. Need anything else? So, let's talk. Your forge is pretty far off the beaten path, Haley. Why set up shop so far outside Aurora? This forge is actually quite ancient. My father's 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 father inherited it from his mother's grandfather on her father's side. It was built during the Battle of Archer's Pass many hundreds of years ago. The archers were holding off their enemies from way up here, but they needed a forge to replenish their arrows. So they built one right where they stood. It helped them take archers pass, and from here, they were able to liberate the whole valley. Sounds like this forge has a lot of history behind it then. Even so... Location, location, location. <sighs> yeah, I hear what you're saying. I wish it was more accessible. We'd get more business, I'm sure of it. But it's not like we can just pick it up and move it. I'll bet if you had an army of trained rats, you could move this place no problem. Uh, Fidgets, I don't think that'd help. You know, smart mewing rats with magic! Don't worry about her dust. Altitude sickness. Drive some creatures crazy. Fidget was pretty crazy before. Maybe we should be on our way. Need anything else? Thanks, Dust. Don't be long coming back. Great, great work. <laughs> Is there a way to get out of it? Quickly, it's 
attack was, was a nice little last resort. We need an upgrade. That went incredibly well. Do you know why? I don't know, Fidget. Why? Oh, don't be so dense. It's because she likes you. Fidget, what are you talking about? You didn't see the signals? She was giving you the signals. That's great, Fidget. Really, I'll keep that in mind. Chapter 5, Legend. Welcome your presence, Sen Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. I see all sorts of lamps here, but no fire. Is this the way of the flameless light? It is, yes. In ancient times, the Moonbloods went by another name. We lived in a great society called the Sintak, and we wielded the knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in, Dust. This could take a while. We sent a harness to power unlike any this world had ever seen. We built elaborate contraptions like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness without so much as a spark. Well, obviously something went wrong, because we still have to build a fire every time Dust pulls out his map. Unfortunately, the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell, and that knowledge has been lost. Perhaps intentionally. All we know is that our kind were made as outcasts, and that has remained true for countless generations. For the longest time, we believe the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. When General Gaius began his purge, 
There were stories of their weapons, stories of elaborate contraptions that seemed to defy the natural world, weapons that sound identical to those of the Sinduk in the most ancient of tales. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Arrows made of light, machines that take to the sky like birds. And we are supposed to fight these things with your lamps. I did not say it would be easy. Nobody ever does. I did once, remember? Yeah, and you were wrong. Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most Moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? We cannot. That's why we created Sen Mithrarin. You dust will turn the tide. Ah, uh, well, no pressure or anything. Yeah. Does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. What? How? One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sereth. Aha! I knew that creepy merchant was one of you guys. How did a Moonblood operate so freely in the Wildlands? He is a smart businessman. Deals in all the right places. Gaius's soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius's campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has and destroy us. Well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp's support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He is not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. This is the water pump. Huh, no wonder it stopped. These vines are growing all over it. What? I don't want to risk damaging the pump trying to cut those vines. Maybe there's some way we can burn them off? Yeah. <laughs> all right, that seemed to fix it. Nice work, Fidget. 
something? You've arrived just in time, Mithrarin. My name is Sanjin. I'm what you'd call a chief engineer, I suppose the term is. The Elder mentioned you needed some help? Yes, indeed. In the caverns below, we've set up machinery to provide the camp with power and water. Unfortunately, seismic activity has shut down both systems, so we need to get them running once more. I have been rather preoccupied handling the battle preparations, so if you could, I would appreciate it if you went down there to examine the generators. Sure, Sanjin. I'll take a look. Thank you. You'll need to restart the generator and water pump when you're down there. We'll require both systems to be running if we're going to stand a chance against General Gaius.
Well, there's the generator. Let's see if we can find a way to get it working again. I sense no energy emanating from the device dust. Perhaps there is a way to return its spark? Well done, Fidget. The camp should now be receiving power. Honestly, Fidget, where would I be without you? Probably still be wandering around in the mountains outside Aurora. Wait, what? <laughs> what I meant to say was, uh, don't worry about it. Okay, that's the generator and the water pump back online. Let's return to Sanji. Excellent work, Miss Rarin. Now that the power and water systems are working again, we can hold our ground against Gaius's soldiers. You have saved many lives this day. Elder, I'm afraid I have bad news. We found Kier, but he was ambushed by Gaius's soldiers. He didn't stand a chance. Then it has already begun. Dust, we are nearly out of time. Please, help Sonjin get our camp support systems working once again. Without them, we will stand little chance of mounting an effective defense. It sounds like Sanjin was able to get the pumps and generators working again. No doubt thanks to no, your I... help. With power and water flowing through our camp once again, we will be better equipped to handle our enemies in battle and properly tend to our wounded. Thank you, Dust. I believe we are as prepared as we possibly could be. With the enemy at our gates, we have no choice but to begin our assault. Our warriors are gathering at the edge of the camp, waiting for you to lead them. Take this yellow resonance gem, Dust. Use it to open the gate. Thank you, Elder, for everything. Whatever happens, Sen Mithrarin, know that I am honored to have stood before you. The Moonbloods will follow you unto death. Now go, and dust. Good luck. Alright, I will end it here. Like, do you like the subscribe if you want to do that? I have a feeling it's going to be quite the gauntlet when I go over to the right of the screen, so yeah.